Hey everyone, it's EJ with Cryptography, where we unlock crypto for the masses. Today, we're looking at Ripple, currently one of the largest coins by market cap. And no, even though the logos are similar, has nothing to do with one of these. So Ripple is a privatized blockchain for banks. And that what that means is that it's not decentralized, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, which is housed over computers all over the world. It's pretty centralized. And it's largely made for banks so that they can send money from one to another across national lines. Now, Ripple is maintained by Ripple Labs, a company that largely functions as a startup. And they work on the infrastructure of the RippleNet, or the Ripple Network. Currently, they have three main projects. XCurrent, XRapid, and XVi, which, according to their site, facilitate to process payments, source liquidity, and send payments. But you don't have to worry about any of those because Ripple is made for companies and banks, not people like you or me. But why does it exist? Well, quite simply, it's faster, cheaper, and more transparent than the existing means of sending money from one country to another. For example, if I want to send money from the United States to Germany, there are four banks that have to be involved. A personal bank here, like Wells Fargo, the Federal Reserve, which is the central bank of the United States, Germany's central bank, and a personal bank in Germany, like Deutsche Bank. Now, if you can imagine, four banks means that it's not fast, not cheap, and they certainly don't want to share much information with each other. Ripple circumvents all of that and lets banks transact, transact with each other quite simply and easily. Which leads me to the pros. Ripple has some great investors and partners. Some of their investors include A16Z, or Andreessen Horowitz, as well as Accenture. And their partnerships is a pretty long list, including banks like UBS, the Royal Bank of Canada, and Santander. Additionally, they're already seeing commercial use by banks such as these three. And in the future, they're hoping that they can work together with companies to, uh, to facilitate their supply chain as well as processing needs. Which leads me to the cons. Ripple is a very centralized entity, and with that comes centralized power and control. And largely, this space is all about decentralization, which is taking control away from central entities like companies. And additionally, they're not very developer focused, like Ethereum, or even Bitcoin. And largely, I think that in this space, you need a lot of developers for projects to really flourish. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Cryptography, and as always, we encourage an open discussion. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks.